Hey, what's up, fam? So I've just finished the video talking about how I uh, I believe that Eden Zero is going to kind of lead into um, what I was calling the Mashima verse. You know, for Nero Mashima, that uh, now that he has uh, characters who have you know spaceships and go from planet to planet, that it kind of links up with. Um, I haven't been able to confirm this, but I, I, someone was discussing it uh, online of that uh, Hiromashima wanted, it was talking about uh, kind of connecting all his series into, into uh, one universe. I think he kind of got an idea from like Marvel and DC of, you know, keeping everything within one, uh, you know, big mashup so you can see all these characters uh, interact with each other and then eventually have uh, adventures to where they where you get to see all your favorites meet up, the main characters meet up, and um, and, and and really see uh, their dynamic between them. Like the the fairy tale rave master one that happened a few years ago. It, it wasn't canon to the story, but the the interactions of the characters is kind of, is essentially as as canon as you get without literally trying to figure out how they would fit in both the same series because they were both made by the same guy. So the uh, the ways that the characters would respond to each other really seems uh, genuine. And uh, we kind of get this um, this really neat picture on uh, Hiromashima's uh, Twitter of Isinatsu kind of taking, you know, the baton and giving it to Shiki as kind of, you know, um, uh, kind of passing over uh, the right as the, the main character under Hiromashima to him. But uh, for those who don't know, that um, maybe aren't paying a, a, ton of, a ton of attention to uh, some of the news within the, the manga and anime community and what goes on with Hiromashima is uh, not only is he doing these new series, Eden Zero, but he's also doing a sequel to Fairy Tale, um, you know, his big smash hit series, the biggest series that he's done, that is um, one of the largest selling manga of all time. And he's also doing a, a spin off. So it, it's, it's not as much like. Here, take this, you'll lead us now, uh, given that they're going to, um, uh, given that they're going to run at the same time, really, it, it's, it's, the, the representation that they're getting is that they're both going to lead it, and, um, I'm wondering if this could also, uh, where they're kind of both going down a pathway with these, uh, batons, uh, as the, as the lead, lead character is, uh, where are they going? Is it, is it just supposed to be like a you know a, a cute little sketch of you know like you're just, it's not just going to be you uh, me leading it's going to be us leading uh, but it maybe it might be foreshadowing maybe while they go down this path you'll see them uh, run into another one of Fear Machine's main characters because like I said with what I was saying with um the idea of the Machine verse is a, a way with uh, and even Zero how they have uh, interplanetary travel is they could have Rave Master be on one planet, Fairy Tale be on one planet, Monster Soul be on one planet, Starbutter Satsuki be on one planet, and you could have all these. You could uh, kind of expand it out into being its own uh, expanded universe, kind of like again, like a Marvel and DC do. Have you all these characters, but they all exist in um, all together at the same time, but they're all doing their own thing, and then you could literally have a some form of big crisis where. Shiki is like, hey, I'm out guns. You know, we need to get more people to, to team up to fight this guy. And like, who 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 do we find? And then you you know you get one of those things, or maybe some like mystical ancient being is like, there's you know there's a few other people that have dealt with big threats before. You got to seek them out, find them, and then you go see that you know they go and find Natsu and Haru and and maybe even Aki for Monster Soul. It you know be really cool. There's a lot of uh, a lot of potential with this and. Uh, I'm wondering if, if this was, you know, as we see uh, with this little bit with uh, Shiki and Natsu, is is it is it just a is this foreshadowing or is it is it just a, a nice little piece that he drew to kind of show that uh, don't worry fans, it's it, it's not just going to be uh, Shiki leading Natsu's company. Natsu's still gonna uh, still lead as well. They're going to be doing it together. You know, uh, where where could this uh, potentially lead to? And uh, what what kind of possibilities is is this going to kind of open up for Hiromashima? Because uh, if he's able to do this, do this in a way that he could get you know all these series onto a one planet, maybe he could uh, go even beyond that and 
we could try and get a weekly shonen magazine to uh to to kind of push it into uh, into into the rest of the series like you could have uh, i know he's friends with um the guy who did uh, the guy who did uh, Zatch Bell he, and Fairy Tale, Rave Master, uh, Eden Zero, all take place on uh, on one on a unique planet essentially. But uh, but Zatch Bell takes place on on like modern Earth, so you wouldn't have to run of that problem. And then you could also have uh, uh, stuff like uh, Fire Force, which is from which is also from Weekly Shonen Magazine. You could have stuff like Seven Deadly Sins, all these things that um, could become. Uh, the Japanese equivalent to, you know, Marvel or DC, yeah, DC or Marvel. I mean, come on, I don't want to slip my my DC bias in there. But if if you really think about it, there there hasn't really been um, uh, kind of something similar in Japan that I can I can think of again. Like maybe I'm forgetting something, but I, I don't think there's any. A magazine that has like all these big smash shits and then says let's connect them into one universe and then you could even have uh you could literally have a a, a big super bad guy like epic event and then you have like all these big characters show up you could have natsu haru shiki uh kyo and zatch from zatch bell meliodas from seven Deadly sins negi springfield from uh, sensei majima you could have all these different things show up and uh intertwine them all and if they're all like scattered around the universe, and it's not like um, it's just not like the One Piece Toriko Dragon Ball crossover where it was just like, hey, these guys know each other, but we're, you know, it, it's a it's a nonsense uh, crossover, so we don't need to explain anything. Is you could do a, a big crossover with all these series, and and you don't need to have this big in depth explanation. It's just like they're all from different planets. You know, all these planets operate differently. All the, they all have their own experiences. And it would really just be from uh, whatever point they kind of meet up, and whatever point they're going forward from there. You you won't have to worry really a lot about contradictions. It would just be what presenting, uh, what running into each other, maybe then contradictions or uh, problems could have. You're gonna have Gadgil try and eat uh, the the Ten Commandments sword or something, something like that. But you're not gonna have something like, oh, how could. How could Clue exist in all these different series? Like we already saw in Fairy Tale that um, uh, Clue, uh, there's lots of different versions of Clue, and the stellar spirits uh, cross dimensions and exist in their own realm and can be summoned anywhere as long as you have a, a means to, to summon one of them, like a key or, um, you know, logically any way of getting into this dimension. Maybe that's even how uh, Ellie actually got Clue in Rave Master. Is uh, she didn't actually create them from scratch? She opened like a portal into uh, the stellar spirit world and uh, a clue came out in one of the the uh what were they called that uh, nikolai or nikolai minor uh, i can't remember uh clue's uh stellar spirit like classification but you know what i mean but uh i'm gonna wrap up this video uh, uh what do you think really of, of where this could go could this lead to the uh first like manga big expanded universe like, like with DC or Marvel and all these different uh, comics that, that kind of like push together and then create something way bigger than what they were as, an, as a, a single unit. Would that be cool? Would you like that? I think it'd be awesome. I'd love to see some of my favorite characters like team up in canon to see like uh, see someone like uh, Natsu team up with uh, Zatch from Zatch Belt. That'd be awesome. I think it'd be really cool. And you know, you have... Um, you have Nazi, this uh, you know the the fire dragon raised kid, and then you have Zatch, who it's this uh, little tiny six year old lightning king boy. I think it'd be really awesome to to, uh, to see all these guys go on different adventures, and be it, it would be such a way to get uh, to boom up a uh, manga and change it in its its own its own direction. Um, but anyway, uh, like, favorite, subscribe, check out my channel for uh, for uh, other videos. I did the first. First full chapter review of uh, Eden Zero online. Uh, I have the only one on YouTube last time I checked. I, I checked a few minutes ago that has done a full review of the first issue of Eden Zero. All, I think, 80, 82 pages. And, you know, I, I, I'm going to try and keep uh, early on the ball with uh, chapters before anybody else gets to them. Trying to get stuff for uh, the fairy tale sequel and uh, spinoff as well. 
uh, some other series. I'm going to try and, and, you know, get early early access to stuff like Black Clover as well. And, you know, if anybody who's all been following my channel knows I, I really like Black Clover. I might be able to get it for, uh, like, My Hero Academia as well, you know. But, yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, I hope you check out my other videos. And, like I said, like, favorite, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment on your opinion on this. And I hope you have a good weekend. So, thank you very much.